In this video, we're going to see the new container element of the Bricks Builder. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So, I would like to show you the container because it has a little bit of a tricky way to use it and I would like to show you what to do. Let's go first to the roadmap and we're going to see that the container was introduced to us in the version 1.2. Here it is, and this is the container, and basically it's taking the role of the section, of the column, of the div, and everything else that you want to add as a box. If we go to the version uh, 1.2.3, we're going to read that uh, once you install the version 1.2.3, then you will go and take the updates with a single click of the uh, update uh, button inside your dashboard. You don't have to manually update the, uh, the theme anymore. So remember to update to the latest version to do that. Okay, let's close that and let's take a look to the website. Let's go to the website how it looks right now and let's go to the home page. Okay, let's go to the uh, about us page and we're going to see how it looks. Okay, I don't see any problems here. Let's go to the services and services. Uh, we don't have too much of a problem, but in case you have created uh, the website with the previous version of the 1.2 of Bricks. Let's go and see the contact page. Maybe we'll, we'll find a problem here. Yeah, the map, as you can see here, is not looking too good. And we're going to fix that by going into the pages. And we're going to see that there are most of those saying that it's not migrated. And as you can see, the contact page says Bricks, not migrated. I'm going to select here the contact page and I'm going to select Migrate Bricks Data. So I'm going to hit Apply. And then I can go and refresh the page here and see how it looks right now. And that was not fixed. So basically you will find yourself that you have some problems, but in most cases this will fix your problem. I did that in the home page and I did that in the header and the footer and it fixed everything. But uh, for the other pages, I don't see that there is any problem. Okay, let's close that and let's go to the pages. And this is the page that I'm working with. So let's go and view that and let's put that here. And this is the page that we're going to uh, create our tests. So in order to add the container elements, which is here, you have three ways. The first is to add it by the plus icon, which is only shown if you don't have any content inside the page. So once you add a content, you will not be able to see that. Once we click here, the container is in the structure now and I can do anything that I want inside here. Let's delete that. The second way is to add the container from here. And as you can see, the same way is also when you click here in the layout button. But here you can also select how many inner containers you want. So basically, if you want to add columns inside here, you can do that from here. So I can add three inner containers and insert the container. So I have the parent container and three underneath. Now, this is not ideal. It will, uh, if you do that, you will have a problem later on and we're going to see later on what. But of course, these are not uh, columns uh, right now. You have to go into the content and you have to go and select the direction to be horizontal. Once you do that, then you will have now columns inside here. I'm going to delete that and you're going to see later on what is a problem with that. Let's see first what we're going to uh, recreate. So if we go here to the home page, uh, this is a, a started template and this is only something that we can build. And here we have a section with that background color and then we have this div that has two columns inside here with another background color. And this is something that we're going to recreate. So first, let's go and check the uh, color. Of course, I'm not going to do that exactly the same because I don't have the pictures, I don't have the font. So I'm going just going to take those two colors because I like the colors. So I have the color, so let's go back to the builder and I'm going to add the container first. And that container needs a background color. So I'm going to the style, going to the background color, and I'm going to select the background color, the hex code, and also save that to have it later on. So this is the color. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. And of course, in the front end, I cannot see anything because this container doesn't have any height or width. You have to remember, if you don't add anything inside here, you will not be able to see it in the front end. The only way, the only uh, the, uh, in the back end, you can see it because you have to be able to click it or add anything inside here. And this is why we can see it here. If 
uh, bricks didn't have any height in the back end in the uh, builder then you wouldn't be able to click inside the page you have to go into the structure every time so this is why you see something here but you don't see it in the front end let's go into the plus icon and here I'm going to select uh, to add a heading now that I have heading I'm going to save that and I'm going into the front end and refresh the page now you can see that I have the background that I want but it doesn't go in full width it doesn't go from the one end of the page to the other in order to do that I have to go back to my builder and I have to select the container and I have to select here that says align container stretch this will get me the full width once I save that and go into the front end and refresh I will see that this will go we uh, with that we get the full width of the background but now the content is also full width I don't want full width content I want that inside my basic width which is 1200 pixels starting from the beginning of the logo and ending at the last item of the menu as you can see here so in order to fix that I have to go inside the back inside the back end and inside the container I have to add another container so I have to click the container and add another container inside here and this will play the role of the basic width that I have inside my pages so I have to go and grab the heading and put that inside here if I save that and see in the front end this will not fix the problem for me because I do have to do something else again I have if I go and hover here you will see a blue line here which means that the container is inside here in the first container the parent container but it's basically left aligned I have to go inside the container again and select the align cross axis to be centered once I do that and save now I can go into the front end refresh the page and see that my content is where it's supposed to be and this is how you're going to work basically this is what I'm uh, saying to do uh, for you to do uh, add a container that it will play the role of the section add the container what that it will give me the width of the page and then add anything that you want inside here even if you're going to add columns inside here add two containers first and then add columns this you will make your life easier if you're going for the mobile version later on and uh, edit that and change the style of the mobile this will play an easier uh, thing to style it so uh, also I would like to say that if you are going to add another container inside the second container so I want another container underneath the heading if I have select the heading and select the styling and, and change some things and then go again into the plus and select the container this will go uh, outside the first container it will not go underneath this heading in order to do that you have to go to the uh, sorry let's delete that you have to go to the parent container that you want to add so I want this container to be underneath the heading inside that container so I have to go click here and once this is gray I can go and click the elements and then click the container and this will go to the bottom of the last uh, element that we have underneath the last element and this is how you add things so if I want to add three columns by using this it's not ideal because let's select that and let's select here first okay let's select that and select this layout and select here three columns let's select that insert and if you want you can select here stretched insert and now this is stretch as you can see and I can go into the container I can select that to be uh, ver direction horizontal so I have my columns here but you will see that those columns are full width so once I add here a heading and here also a heading and here also a heading okay and uh, let's see and put that heading into the end of the uh, column so let's say that it was a text from the end to the uh, from the beginning to the end or it was an image or something else and let's put that in the middle just to be a little bit better uh, in view so let's put that in the center and let's save that and see how it looks in the front end you will see that I have three columns but I have that 
uh, full width. So this is not something that I want. In order to do the layout, to create the layout that I want, I have to close those containers in order to be uh, easier accessible. I have to go inside the parent container, which is the section. I have to click here and then container and then take this container and put it inside here. So let's grab this and for some reason now I cannot do that. This is a bug. Uh, it was fixed, uh, it said with the version 1.2.3 and I have no reason to deny that but uh, at this moment it doesn't work. Okay, I cannot select that uh, container. Let's open that and see if it can select it. No, it cannot. So for some reason I cannot select that and I cannot not, not grab and drop it inside here. It was working uh, the few times that I tested before with that uh, release but for some reason it's not right now. Let's refresh the page. and see if it's going to work uh, right now. So let's close that and let's grab that. Yeah, now it's working, okay. So I'm going to put that inside here. Let's close that, close that and close that. Okay, now I'm going to take the second column and put that underneath that. And now the third column, which was uh, I think this one, and put that underneath that. So now I have the three columns inside here and I have to go into the uh, second container which again it's the uh, it's playing the role of the width of the content and I have to select here their direction to be horizontal. Once I do that I can see now that I have the three columns but something is missing again. I have to go into the first container and I have to select that to be in the center. Once I do that and deselect that of course because I don't need that to be horizontal anymore I can select this save and let's go and refresh the page and now we're going to see that those three are exactly where it's supposed to be. So hopefully you have understand what I'm trying to show you to you. Let's delete that container and let's start by deleting also the heading inside here. And inside here we have a container which is basically the section so I can go and click that and I can select the HTML uh, a tag to be the section. Now uh, this is something that I usually do. I do like to add the HTML tags inside here because uh, there are some tools that are going to uh, read the page and see where the sections are uh, like the accessibility uh, readers, the screen readers plugins and I do like the HTML tags but I don't like to do it every time so I wish I had this section as a, a separate element like oxygen because I'm used to working with the oxygen and I like how uh, uh, oxygen is handling that. I don't have to go every time to the container and add that to be aligned, uh, stretched and then add another container because I don't want the uh, width of the content to be full width. I want that to be 1200 pixels as I have said everywhere. So uh, this is something that you have to do inside Bricks. So we have a container here, we're going to duplicate that in order to, to take the two columns. I'm going into the content and I'm going to select that to be horizontal. And now let's go to the page. As I can see I have here a different color for this uh, background. So I'm going to take that color as well. Let's go for here to pick the color and here is the color. Copy that, close, okay. And let's go back here, select that container, select this style, background. And here I'm going to put that here. Okay, I'm going to save that as well, just to have it here. And now that I have that as well, I can go and add an image inside that container. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to select here and add the image. Let's go to the image. Click the image and the image, as you can see, uh, is uh, opening in the style. And the first thing that I did is go into here that says select image and add an image. But this is the background, so I have to go into the content first and then select the image and select something like that. Okay, so now the image is selected and it's inside and I have to go here and add some elements. What elements do we have here? We have something like a... A heading, another heading, a line, a heading, a text and something like a button. So of course we're not going to do exactly the same but here inside this container I have to go and add a heading, another heading, a text, a heading and a button, something like that, something like that. So 
I want all of those to be in the middle of this column so I have to go inside that container and select the middle. The problem is because the container is a flex uh, it will take the height of the uh, elements inside here so even if I click here that says uh, center in the align main axis it will not do anything so I have to go into this container and select that to be in the center sorry in the center here so this is what you have to do you have to remember that the uh, container always takes the height and the width of the elements inside not the width sorry the height of the elements inside the width maybe can be uh, dealt with the width of the whole page or something that you select here okay so uh, now I can go inside the first container and I can add some uh, padding so let's go into the layout and select a padding of uh, 50 on the top and 50 on the bottom and then uh, we have something like the borders radius so I have to go into the second container and select that container select the borders radius so let's go into the border and let's go to the border and select the radius to be around 30 something like that and even though as you can see it doesn't say anything into the right bottom and left it is already here and of course it's here but you cannot see it because I have the image I have to go here and add some padding inside here I don't have a nice image to add so if I add uh, here 20 pixels and everywhere you will see that I have the radius here even though if it doesn't say that I have it everywhere so uh, this is also something like a bug and probably it will be fixed later on where was the border okay border and border and here is the radius it doesn't say anything else but as you can see it took it everywhere else so let's go for 40 okay and I think it's better now if I save and refresh the page you will see that I have something like what I'm trying to create of course I have to add some padding inside here to separate those columns I have to add padding inside those elements or marking inside those elements to give it enough space but you can understand how it works now and if I go now to the mobile version let's go to the button on top this is the tablet and this is how it looks so now that you have everything inside here you can go into the container and you can select the layout and select that to have a little bit of uh, padding like right let's say 10 and 10 in the left so it will give a little bit of space inside here and if we go to the landscape it's looking okay but probably I had to go inside that column and put a little bit of padding also something like right uh, 20 yeah this is the right because I want the left okay and now I can also put something from the bottom let's say 20 and it's looking better and then we're going to the mobile portrait and select uh, something and change something different so uh, this is how your going to solve every problem that you may have with the content and the background so that was all uh, if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos in wordpress oxygen and i don't know bricks and i will see you guys in the next video bye